Hey, Flynn. Here I am. Hey, man. Uh, just a sec. I'm looking for something. Yeah? What's that? My two dino friends, Steggy and Kilo. What happened to them? I don't know. I looked for them around the base, then I came up here to repair the binoculars. Any success? Sure. Not only that, I noticed something when I tested it. Take a look. Did you see that dino? Yeah, that's a Pachycephalosaurus. And it lying there like that is very unusual. <laughs> Most definitely. They like to headbutt anyone and anything that crosses their path. And cause a major pain. Their skull roof is up to 25 centimeters thick. And no one would enjoy getting hit by that. I'd say it would feel like a truck hit you. <laughs> yep. Should I check it out? Feel free. Just don't get too close if you don't want to get hit by that truck. All right, thanks for the advice. I'll take a photo first anyway. A picture is worth a thousand words. Before you go there, visit Max in the base. He's got a gift for you. Hey, heard you're setting out on a longer journey. Yeah, I'm off to take a picture of a Pachycephalosaurus. So I've heard. You can take this off-roader for a whirl. All of the Team Dino Bros think you're mature enough to drive it. Don't mind if I do.
These photos are pretty disconcerting. I think we need to bring in this specimen. I agree. We're going to tranquilize it. There's no other way. Will you be able to do it? Sure. It's not like I'll enjoy it, but I guess there is no other way to help the dinos. Not any that I can see. Let's do it, then. Yes, let's. First, you'll need to get the ingredients. The southeast door should be open now.
Here you go, Louis. All the ingredients for the tranquilizer agent. Thanks. I'll get right on it. Meanwhile, you can check out what's going on in the base. Hey, Max. I thought we could chat for a bit. No problem. I noticed that you've been hanging out with Flynn and Lewis. Are they giving you a hard time? No, they're awesome. I was able to feed and cure a dino already. Both Flynn and Lewis are great, always willing to help. Lewis is a brainiac and likes to stay in the lab, while Flynn is a bit of a wild child. And you like to take a more measured approach? Right you are. You need to respect the jungle and the dinosaurs, or you won't live to regret any foolishness. I agree. My motto is, think before you act. But there's no teaching that to Flynn. Oh, well, I love him lots, all the same. I can see that. All right, I'll get out of your hair. See you later. Indeed you will. See ya. Hey, Flynn. I see you found your little dino friends. How did you take them under your wing? Steggy hatched from its egg on the very day all of us moved into the station. Steggy? That's such a cute name. What about the other one? Kilo is a little ankylosaurus, and I rescued it from a velociraptor. Cool. You have a good heart, Flynn. I guess. Just don't let the guys know. They'll make fun of me forever. Something tells me they already know the score. Hello. All right, I've made the agent. All you need to do is to visit Max and get the tranquilizer gun. All right. Hey, Jack. Here's the stun gun. You know how to... I do. I'll call you when the dino has been stunned.
Hey, Max. I put down the Pachycephalosaurus. It's fast asleep. Plus, it's out in the open, so you'll have no problem landing. Stay right there. I'm coming over in the helicopter. All right, but hurry. It'll probably wake up pretty soon. No problem. Spinning the rotor as we speak. Good work, Jack. The Pachycephalosaurus is still asleep. So what do you think happened to it? I'd say he got agitated because of the volcanic activity and crashed into something that was a bit too hard, even for its head. I'd say that's plausible, yes. We'll probably find more dinosaurs that have been hurt somehow. And we'll help them. Yes. Also... Choosing the right tool is half the job, and I think we already have the correct tool. We do? What is it? Not what? Who? It's our young friend Jack. But all tools need maintenance. See you in the morning, Jack. Jack. <laughs> 